liar, liar, your robes are on fire. The words that you weave make you perspire. Mayik is very practical. He has no need for mysticism. Nords are so serious about beards. So many beards. Maik thinks they wish they had glorious manes like Kajit. Maik does not remember his childhood. Perhaps he never had one. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. You have something to say? Talking to Maik wears him out. I am glad I do not suffer from the same affliction. Let's leave this fibber to his madness before it rubs off on us. It reminds me a little of Cyrodiil here, a thin veneer of civility barely masking the dirty doings beneath. It is nice looking though. One evening when I was with the bandits, I was out patrolling our camp near a forest while everyone else was on a raid. I saw something move nearby, so I raised my torch and peered into the trees. There were ten heavily armed warriors staring back at me. Two of them had arrows aimed at my head. I was about to duck when a searing pain engulfed my arm and I let out a yell of agony. I had accidentally set myself on fire with my torch. I ran about screaming, waving my flaming arm in the air. Eventually I spotted a large puddle and extinguished myself. I then searched about for the warriors. They were clearly getting ready to launch an attack, but they were nowhere to be seen. Later, when my group returned, they suggested we move camp. They had heard tales of a flaming, shrieking ghost stalking the woods and asked me if I had seen anything. I said that I had seen something burning among the trees, but I never told them it was me. I hope so. I enjoy the idea of being a spooky legend, even if it was a misunderstanding. Anyway, I kept my arm covered until the hair grew back and no one was the wiser. When you are living with a group of bandits, reputation is everything. What am I making here? I cannot remember. Ah well. If we do not leave this place no, soon, I will be forced to end my life in protest. I'm hungry for hawker stew. Mr. Dragonfly says Sweet. this place is bringing back bad yeah. memories. He doesn't want to talk about it at the moment. Neither do I. The cold usually doesn't bother me, but here it cuts like an ugly knife. I'm wondering why we are in such a dismal town. I'm thinking I do not enjoy this place. Wow! Nice weapon! Can I hold it? I promise not to break anything. Honest. Maybe later. If you get permission. Aww. This is where you ladies get together for a gossip, right? If you would rather I wait outside, just let me know. I am thinking that your inquisitive nature makes you engaging. Who made the gods, I wonder? No one ever told me a satisfactory answer. No, my mind is as blank as your expression right now. No offense. Gods, forgive me for what I have done. Give me the strength to repay my debts in this life. Hail there. Seeing our kind doing well in this cold environment warms my heart. I would like to do business with you. Here is a list of the things I require. Can you help me out? Take a look. Mm-hmm. That seems to be everything. Thank you very much. May you walk on warm sands. Same to you. I wanted to buy you something. Here you go, my friend. Also, take this. We should keep those magical hands of yours well fed. No problem. It is nice to be able to give something back. I'm thinking the stars look amazing tonight. King Indigo demands your attention, peasant. Bring me sweet rolls, this is wine, and your cleanest wenches. 
Listen up, I'm everybody. Hungry. I'm in charge now. Bring on the dancing spiders. I am thinking how crazy life can be sometimes. It is brutal, bewildering, and beautiful. I'm thinking it is another lovely day in Riften. Riften Market is not as well equipped as the surrounding shops, but I do like the hustle and the bustle. You may be the toughest woman I have ever known, apart from my mother. Who's? I am showing greater strength. Hell yeah! I'm wondering if mermaids are real. If they are, I'm wondering if they like hairy men. I like to have a full quiver. You can never have too many arrows. I like a little bit of lollygagging. I'm not the best judge of character. I will let you decide who deserves to die. My time as a bandit taught me very little. It was a means to an end. Sick people attract their own kind. I like talking about myself. I am very interesting. I'm very stealthy, if need be. Some folks seem to have a magical never-ending supply of arrows. I have no such enchantments working on me, unfortunately. Taking the scenic route is my style. I'm all for risk and adventure, but why throw yourself off a cliff for no reason? This place smells of coin and good taste. After everything you have already been through, I doubt future events will give you any trouble. Ifs, buts, and maybes, my friend. They often kill success before it has had a chance. Fail or win, none of your doubts will matter in the long run. All you can do is try. As long as you do that, there is hope. Of course you are. There are many ways in which someone can be strong, but above all else it is willpower and spirit that tend to win through. You have a lot of both. That may be true, but your adaptability is unsurpassed. As a result, your limits are dwindling. There is nothing you cannot handle. Count on it. Dragon or a thousand angry chickens. Now that's a fight I'd pay to see. What is worse in your mind? An evil chicken? or an evil rabbit. If you saw what I have seen, you would not trust chickens or rabbits either. Believe me. I do not like chickens or rabbits. Smell that mammoth dung. Even though it is light, I feel weary all of a sudden. That strange tree over there is very pretty, but its odor is making me drowsy. I once put a dead spider in bed with Fergus while he was snoozing. My mother walked in, saw the spider, and screamed. The noise awoke my brother. Startled, he sat bolt upright, simultaneously banging his head on the bottom of my bunk and launching the dead spider across the room. My mother deflected the flying spider into the hearth and it went up in flames. Fergus rolled out of bed onto the floor unconscious. That is when my father came home. I had some major explaining to do. At the time, I thought it was hilarious. Anyway, everyone was okay. And that night I found a charred spider in my bed. So Fergus got his own back. You have more than a few skeletons in your closet.
My best friend and I once saved the world from a giant ugly lizard called Alduin. We killed him in Sovngarde. You have probably heard songs about our adventure. Anyway, the whole time the battle was going on, I thought I was dreaming. Pretty funny, eh? It is hard to believe, I grant you, but it happened. My friend and I are heroes of the highest order. All you need to know is that she has the best taste in friends. Personally, I believe that is what has kept her alive so long. Speaking of harsh, you bards don't cut each other. I should hope so. You are very lucky to meet me in person. More or less. The stories tend to focus on them for some reason, but I also played a vital role. Okay, our adventure sounds a little unlikely when I describe it out loud. It was an honor. We work well together. Ugh, I almost nodded off there. <laughs>